There are a lot of archaeological discoveries scientists have failed to understand and explain despite trying their best. The reason behind this is most likely the massive gaps in our history and little to no information of what took place during these periods we know very little about. Despite our lack of understanding, we humans have been trying to theorize why our ancestors created some of the things that were unearthed in recent years, but so far all we have are speculations with very little supporting evidence. In today's video, we'll show you 12 most puzzling discoveries scientists have failed to explain, so make sure to watch till the end and give this video a thumbs up. Heliodorus Pillar the Hindu population in India has always been booming. Even 2,200 years ago, there were plenty of Hindus in the continent, but the discovery of the Heliodorus Pillar has now revealed that some of these ancient Hindus may have been Greek in origin. This pillar is a tribute to the Hindu gods through a series of inscriptions etched in the surface. However, they also found the name of a Greek diplomat and numerous other Greek names on it. No one knows for sure how and why these names were engraved in a Hindu pillar using South Asian script. The pillar was first unearthed in 1877 near the ancient city of Besnagar, the site where the Batua and Halia rivers meet. Although it was buried under a sort of red paste, it obscured most of the original features of the pillar. No one knows the source of this paste, but the pillar was definitely an object of worship for hundreds of years, and it also involved animal sacrifices at times. The paste was removed in 1909 and this was when the inscriptions were found. Later on, it was revealed that the pillar was actually one part of a much more extensive religious site that's buried under a thick layer of silt because of back-to-back -back floods. Experts think Heliodorus may have been the first Greek to embrace Hinduism or had this pillar erected as an act of diplomacy. Bikini Forest There's a forest in Latvia famous for curing several illnesses in human beings. Bet there are a few who think the forest is cursed and anyone who steals a rock from there will suffer from an illness or an accident. The mystical piece of land is also referred to as Latvia's Stonehenge. Watches and compasses stop working inside the forest despite the fact that no radiation has been detected here. Some reports also say weird lights appearing in the night and that the stones are always warm even in the freezing winters. The rocks seem to have been carefully assembled around the hills that appear foreign. No one knows if these rocks were of religious importance or just brought to the area for construction of some ancient fort or castle that was abandoned even before they started building it. Or maybe there's a simpler explanation, such as people clearing stones from the fields for farming. Nalanda University The version of Nalanda University you see in this footage was established in 2010, and the older one was established in 1951. But the original Nalanda University is considered the earliest to have been established in the entire world. It functioned as a kind of Buddhist Vedic monastery university and was named Mahavihara in ancient Magadha, located in India back in the year 427. Currently, that region falls in the state of Bihar, India. Nalanda was the first residential university and was also regarded as one of the greatest centers of learning in the ancient world. It played a vital role in the Golden Age of India as it promoted the patronage of academics and arts between the 5th and 6th centuries. It was established during the reign of the Gupta Empire and remained functional for around 750 years. It's known for hosting some of the most notable scholars of the Mahayana Buddhism. The university also taught logic, mathematics, medicine and literacy. It was later attacked and partially destroyed by the armies of Muhammad Bakhtiar Khalji but it was somewhat restored and open. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Baha The ancient city of Petra is one of the most significant archaeological wonders of Jordan, but another equally fascinating ancient relic in the country is the Stone Age village of Baha. It's located eight miles north of Petra. This is one of the oldest settlements in the world, founded about 9,000 years ago. Not a lot is known about the first founders and settlers of this village, but they have left behind some mind-blowing artifacts. One such artifact is a beautiful necklace made of 2,500 individual beads that was discovered in the tomb of a young girl unearthed in 2018. The residents of Baha were some of the first people to abandon the hunter-gatherer lifestyle and settle in a community. They were also the first in the world to practice ceremonial burial. Armenian Stonehenge also known as Zorat's Kart and Karahunga, the Armenian Stonehenge doesn't look a lot like the actual Stonehenge. It's actually a ring-shaped arrangement of menhirs with holes drilled in them. 
According to historians and archaeologists, it might have been a functional astronomical observatory, but that's just a guess. The site comprises 223 standing stones that were reportedly erected either during the Iron Age or the middle of the Bronze Age thousands of years ago. Another theory about this strange structure speculates that it is the last of the remains of an ancient Armenian walled city that once existed in the area. Although there isn't any evidence of an ancient settlement in the region, experts also haven't figured out who built this ancient Armenian Stonehenge up till now, only that they chose a scenic hilltop location to do so. Mayan City The city of Nixtunchich is an ancient Mayan city estimated to be around 2,500 years old. From an aerial view, the city looks a lot like a crocodile. No one knows whether this resemblance to a formidable reptile was accidental or intentional. In either case, the construction of this city must have required extraordinary amounts of organization and planning. They didn't have planes after all, so it wasn't possible for them to appreciate the design from above. Nixtunchich is located on the edge of a lake called Petanitsa, which is currently part of Guatemala. There are speculations that the city may have been one of the largest settlements in the region during its peak years. The city's unusual grid design also baffles modern engineers and planners. It also had areas dedicated to social interactions. Crypt Mummies have mostly been associated with ancient Egyptians in history. However, in several other places in the world, the art of mummification was also practiced at some point in history. It was, however, rare in Europe. That's probably why this mummy cellar located in the Netherlands shocked everyone when it was first discovered. It was unearthed in a small village called Vuvert, located in Friesland. A team of carpenters working out maintenance on the village church in 1765 found this hidden crypt. There were 11 coffins inside that looked brand new. They opened these coffins and were astonished to see that the bodies inside hadn't decayed or even decomposed. It was later revealed that decomposition occurs in the crypt at an extremely slow pace because of its cool and dry atmosphere. The birds who occasionally got trapped in this crypt and died also suffered a similar fate. It's believed that the remains belong to members of a Protestant religious cult called the Lapidist. Filipino Fire Mummies These strange so-called mummies were discovered in the caves of Cabayon, located in the Bengue province of the Philippines. These human remains were mummified like the Egyptian mummies. In fact, these remains had been put through a long dehydration process after which they were smoked. According to experts, these mummified people were members of the Ibaloi tribe. They reportedly perished between the 12th and the 16th centuries, but the local people are insistent that these mummies are thousands of years old. This weird mummification practice ended in the 1500s because it was outlawed when the Philippines were colonized by Spain. According to some sources, this process began before the individual died, and the person undergoing it voluntarily participated in it by drinking beverages containing extremely high amounts of salt. Moko Mokai The Maori people of New Zealand acquired muskets in the beginning of the 19th century. This led to fights between them that grew into a series of battles now known as the Musket Wars. This lasted until 1837. An incredibly horrifying practice began during this war. The defeated combatants were decapitated and their heads were preserved. These heads were then sold in the market. They were called mokomokai. Only the heads of people who had traditional Maori tattoos were cut off and sold. That's probably why the Maori stopped getting their faces tattooed later in the 19th century. These tattoos were called moko and were meant to record the important moments in the lives of the people who had them. Those who understood Moko were able to tell the tribe, rank, occupation, lineage, and achievements of the person bearing the tattoos on his or her face. Jade Kongs The ancient Chinese people were very fond of making artifacts known as Jade Kongs. There are several examples of beautiful and extensively decorated Jade Kongs scattered across the Zhejiang province of China. This indicates that these Jade Kongs were created by the Luongyu culture that flourished in the region during the Neolithic era. Each Kong looks like a squared tube having a hole passing through the middle. Each Kong is decorated individually, but a good amount of these have human faces painted in the corners around the hole in the middle. Some experts think that these faces represent spirits, as except for a few, almost all Jade Kongs have been discovered in tombs. They might have a spiritual significance of some sort, but so far historians and archaeologists don't know what it was for. Cave of the Sibyl 
When people are unable to find a logical explanation for something, they often start speculating about the involvement of supernatural elements to try and make some sense of it. This also happened to the eerie Roman tunnels of Bayi. These are located in Italy, close to what used to be a seaside resort for the rich residents of Rome, but the volcanic activity in the region slowly diminished the town and it was abandoned. An archaeologist found these tunnels hidden in the resort back in 1932. Another archaeologist named Robert Paget decided to explore them in the 1960s. He studied the elaborate tunnel complex for a decade and revealed that he had found the Cave of the Sibyl mentioned in the ancient Roman scripture, but had been considered a myth until it was finally discovered. According to legend, the tunnels were home to Amalfia, a powerful prophetess who used to predict the future and write her prophecies on leaves that she would then leave at the cave entrance. Geotish Tokens a man named Will Reed was fishing in a river using a magnet in Coventry, England back in May 2020. He was trying to find valuable antiques, but what he found was mind-boggling to say the least. Will discovered 60 weird-looking cubes covered with complicated Sanskrit numerical inscriptions. He actually thought these mini-cubes were just tiles, but more and more came out of the water and he realized that his assumption might be wrong. He turned to the internet for help and asked people to tell him anything they knew about these cubes. Some people suggested that they are connected to an ancient Hindu prayer ritual. In this, people throw the cubes in running water in hopes of receiving a blessing in return. These are called Geotish tokens and the numerical inscriptions on them correspond to encoded prayers. When these prayers are performed collectively, they summon the protection of a deity known as Rahu. These were some of the most mysterious discoveries science has been unable to explain. Tell us in the comments which one you found the most fascinating. We'll be back soon with more amazing stories. Until then, have a great time and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.